Hello, hello everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm here with my friend Neve. Hi guys. He's making a shakshuka, which is pretty cool. 18 eggs. We're gonna have over 20 people here. We got like a 20 pound bird in the oven over there. So pretty cool. Anyway, in the Thanksgiving spirit, there's nothing more cliche than talking about being grateful. I want to be really clear about something. Gratitude is directly correlated with happiness. After my injury, I was in very deep depression. There was not even a reason for me to really get dressed. I was literally laying naked underneath a bed sheet in a hospital because there was just no, you know, I had nothing to do. There was no reason to take a shower. I wasn't gonna go anywhere. I have no clue what's going on with my life. There's no reason to do anything in my life. And it was just kind of like this hole of emptiness and deep sadness. I lost some friends during the war but I was so numb in my own experience of life that I couldn't even really be with the fact that I lost friends of mine and soldiers of mine. And then suddenly, boom, like in a moment, it all fell on me. And I just remember that the sadness reached a rock bottom. There are no real words that I can explain to express what exactly that was like. After a while of crying, I distinctly recall thinking to myself, you know, how, how much longer can I cry and bitch for? Like 10 minutes, half an hour, three hours, a day, a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, maybe a year, maybe 20 years. How much can I complain and be in this disgusting hole where I hate myself and my life so much and I'm such a victim of this disgusting state that I ended up in. Am I gonna die like this? And I don't know where it came from, but it was kind of intuitive. This isn't some kind of wisdom that I had from the past or God knows what. I just started getting present to what I'm thankful for in my life. I was so thankful that I had the amazing parents that I have who are smart, wise, accomplished human beings. I got, I, I was so lucky to be born to those people. If that's not luck, then I don't know what is. And they were there by my side the whole time. I had my friends that came every single day to the hospital and they came to be with me and they came to laugh with me and to be my support, even though I was being a bummer, pain in the butt human being all the time. They had the compassion to be with me all the time as I still have the, the most amazing friends in the world. I was living in a country in Israel that is a modern, vibrant nation with an incredible medical system and that they actually saved my life. Had the same injury happened to me somewhere else in some third world country, I would have been dead, 100%. And now I get to live the life that I do because I was born in a modern Western country. So many people that were coming to the hospital to give me gifts, to encourage me, to inspire me all the time. Not everybody gets that. I'm thankful for that. I knew that I was gonna have a lightweight wheelchair. I knew that I was gonna have a wheelchair. In Africa, if people don't die from a spinal injury like I had, then they crawl on the ground for the rest of their lives. I can't explain how grateful I am for that. Even the circumstances of my injury I was thankful for. That I had the honor and the privilege of leading my men in a war for my country. To even be injured underneath that circumstance was something that gave me pride and honor. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the defense ministry who allows me to live a life where I get like a pension. They covered my medical expenses. That's like, that's a big deal. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I could go to school and I could study business. I'm thankful that I, I'm a free man in a free country. I'm thankful that I could speak my mind and say what I have to say. I'm even thankful that when I was, when I was laying in the hospital and I freaking hated the guts of the chief of staff and of the prime minister in Israel because I had a feeling that they were responsible for what happened to me. So I'm laying in the hospital one day and the nurses tell me, Ron, the defense minister is gonna come visit the injured soldiers in the hospital today. And I thought to myself, oh boy, I'm gonna be in the newspaper tomorrow morning because when that son of a comes into my room, I'm going to scream at him and I'm gonna kick his stupid ass out of my hospital room. And 
I'm even thankful for that. That I live in a country where I could say whatever I want to say, even to the defense minister, with complete confidence that nothing's ever going to happen to me. And that no one can really do anything because there's a system of governance. There are laws. There are structures that I can grow and I can develop myself. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the people that are coming over today that were able to accept my invitation. I'm grateful that I have the money, I have the intelligence, I have the capacity and the ability to even offer people to come over. I'm grateful for all the girlfriends that I had. I'm grateful for all the battles I've lost and that I've learned from. I'm grateful that even with the political turmoil that exists today in the world, we still get a chance to vote, at least in the Western world. And we get to say what we get to say. And if you love the president or if you hate the president, you get to say it with all your heart. I'm grateful that God gave me the gift of music. I'm even grateful that Neve is cooking behind me and it is ruining the sound of this video. Because if Neve wasn't cooking, I wouldn't be able to eat this wonderful food that he's making later. Yeah. I'm not ruining the, the sound, by the way. Oh, but it's more it's interesting. Just much more interesting. See, this is a man who is... There's nothing you can say to this guy that won't have him spin it in some kind of positive way. Spinology. That's Spinology. the thing. <laughs> You'll hear this through many of my videos, okay? You will never be able to convince me, this guy here, that the outside circumstances that we deal with in life have anything to do, anything, to do with who you get to be in life, what your feelings are, who you end up being in the world, what difference you can make in the world. None of the outside circumstances have control or power over that unless you give that power. And remember, happiness and gratitude are directly correlated. I know that whenever I'm feeling down or I'm feeling unhappy, I of course look to see what happened and what's causing that. But at the end of the day, it's never an outside circumstance. It's something over here. And a great place to start is to be thankful to everybody and everyone that has contributed to who I am in life, who I've become throughout this life, the wins, the losses, and of course, me personally. Above all, I'm thankful to God. That's all I got for today. I love you. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, if you got any value out of watching this video, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and please share this with your friends and your loved ones or maybe even someone that you know that really needs to hear this message right now. But most importantly, let me know in the comments what are you grateful for in your life. I can't wait to see what you have to say.